there are three fundamental communication skills you need to master to be effective over the phone. First, listen so that you can paraphrase or summarize your understanding and acknowledge the feelings or emotions the caller is expressing. This requires active listening, not interrupting, and taking notes, especially if you have questions. Second, ask questions that confirm your understanding or questions that prompt the caller for more information. This is the time to revisit any questions for the caller you may have written down while they were speaking and you were listening. And third, speak clearly and concisely, having organized your thoughts in a way that promotes understanding. If you're unsure about the caller's needs or something they said, ask for more information. Don't assume you know. Listening actively involves paraphrasing back to the person what you thought they said but using different words and confirming to them the feelings you perceive they're having about the matter. Then asking them if you've understood them correctly. To do this effectively, you need to listen for understanding by focusing on how they're expressing themselves through word choice and tone of voice. Remember, nonverbal communication makes up 70%. This is where tone, cadence, and emotion come into play. When you're on the phone, you don't have body language, so you need to rely on tone of voice. Therefore, you need to tune in on how they're expressing themselves through tone and word choice, because this reveals their emotions. Notice what they're not saying as much as what they are saying. Remain as objective as possible by staying focused on the issue and the immediate facts available for consideration. Keeping emotions out of the conversation will allow you to remain objective. Remember, it's not about you. Always paraphrase back by summarizing, in your own words, what you understood the person said. You can also reflect emotions they may be feeling by saying something like, I'm sorry, Ms. Jones, you seem really frustrated about this experience. Questions draw out vital information, but they need to be used in a balanced way so it doesn't come across as an interrogation, but rather to inform and promote progress. Direct questions require only a yes or no answer. These are close-ended questions and are used to seek confirmation and specific information. Indirect questions usually center around the who, what, when, where, how, and why of a situation. They encourage the person to express more information, such as ideas, thoughts, and concerns. Speaking is about how you use your tone of voice to convey your message when you're on the phone. This includes the pitch of your voice. Pitch is either high or low, but it can also be monotone. It can communicate excitement, frustration, calm, or even ambivalence. The rate at which you speak is about the speed or pulse of your speech. Cultural differences can influence this. In terms of rate, it's best to maintain a moderate speed. Speaking too fast may turn off callers because they can't keep up with you. Speaking too slowly can cause them to tune out and miss part of the message. Volume is also dangerous because used ineffectively, such as speaking too loudly, it can intensify a situation unnecessarily. No one wants to feel like they're being yelled at, and no one wants to strain to hear the other person either. If you're unsure, ask the other person if they can hear you okay. The level of inflection or emphasis you place on certain words helps to hold your listener captive because it provides a variation in your speech that keeps them engaged. Your ability to enunciate words for clarity of speech ensures that what you're communicating is understood and received as intended. For example, words like color and caller must be clearly enunciated over the telephone because they're hard to decipher. Lastly, while word choice plays a much smaller role than tone of voice in telephone communication, it still has an impact. Practice organizing your thoughts into topics or categories and use words that are concise and constructive. Here's a tip you can put into practice right away. Speaking certain phrases aloud to a trusted colleague or friend will help you fine tune your speaking skills.